Christopher Nelosa. Have you heard of the Philippine Physical Activity Pyramid? Do you want to learn more about it? What are you waiting for? Come and join the rest of the gang on the road to a healthier life. Do not let this pandemic keep your body from moving around. Just follow the PTA. Stay healthy and fit. Everyone can do it. The Philippine Physical Activity Pyramid is a visual guide to improve our physical fitness. It is divided in four levels which recommend different types of activities that we should be doing in a week to stay physically fit. The top level of the pyramid contains the activities that we should limit on doing like watching TVs, playing computer games, and sitting for more than 30 minutes at a time. Activities that we can do 2 to 3 times a week are golf, bowling, billiard, and other yard work. We can also do flexibility and strength activities like stretching, yoga, ballet, monkey bars, push-ups, curl-ups, weightlifting, and running, aerobic exercise like swimming, jogging, bicycling, and bricks walking should be done 4 to 6 times a week. This also applies for recreational activities like soccer, basketball, martial arts, hiking, dancing, and tennis. Lastly, activities that we can do every day are playing outside, walking the dog, taking the stairs, cleaning the house, walking to the school, walking to the store, or working in the garden. Some activities mentioned in the Philippine Physical Activity Pyramid require teamwork. Sports such as basketball and soccer need the cooperation of each player in order to perform well. This is similar to our organ system working together to keep the body alive and functioning normally. For example, when we walk, run, and play, the muscular, skeletal, and nervous system work together to create movement. When we breathe, the circulatory system work with the respiratory system to provide body cells with the need oxygen and remove carbon dioxide waste. Moreover, when we eat, the digestive system work with the circulatory system to get the absorbed nutrients distributed through our body while urinary system clean the blood waste product produced by the skeletal, muscular, digestive, respiratory, circulatory, and nervous system. Now that we know how our organ systems work, we can try out some exercises and we can monitor our improvement by expressing the number of counts per activity performed using ratio. As we have learned, ratio is the comparison of two different things. We can write it in word form, colon form, or fraction form. For example, I performed 15 push-ups, 10 curl-ups, 15 long jumps, 30 jack in place, and 25 jumping jacks. What is the ratio of push-up to curl-up? What is the ratio of jumping jacks to jack in place? First, let's find the ratio of push-ups to curl up. We can write in word form 15 is to 10, colon form 15 is to 10, fraction form 15 over 10 divided by 
5 over 5 is equals to 3 over 2. Next, find the ratio of jumping jacks to jack in place. We can write in word form 25 is to 30, colon form 25 is to 30, fraction form 25 over 30 divided by 5 over 5 is equals to 5 over 6. Remember that ratio is comparison of two things and we can use it to keep track our daily activities. At this moment, come and join me in our self-testing exercises. Safety first. Remember to wear the proper attire when you are doing physical activities to avoid injuries. Your to start with, let's do some push-up. Followed by curl up, long jump, and jack in place. Let's end this with some jumping jacks. Thank you.